Matt here. Welcome to my channel. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. Okay, what we're going to do is jump right into this. This is going to be a small little tutorial on how to use the bat file. Um, I know most people are probably like, who doesn't know how to use bat files and everything right now? But there's always new players and new modders and stuff coming along in Skyrim. So maybe they don't know how. So rather than type out a, a long text thing in the description. I'm just going to do a small little video. So, um, okay. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to go ahead after you download the mod, you're going to go to your, um, your, your game folder. This is the main game folder here where you got, you don't want to put this into data or anything. Just the main folder where your exe is at your your launcher and stuff like that so have that open and then after you're going to download the mod just download it manually um it's gonna come as a zip basically so you're going to need something to unzip this um seven zip is a free program so just go ahead and extract it after it's extracted go ahead and open it up and what you're going to find in there is a text file so you're going to go ahead and grab this and copy it or move it over to here. I'm not going to do it because I already have it um, right here. Dwinner D manner displayed. Now you can change the name of this and that's important. Name it to something you're going to remember easily. Um, just leave it with a dot txt extension, but you can rename it to whatever you want. And then if you were to open it up, you'll see basically all it is is just consoling in a whole bunch of items. So it's going to be like opening the console and game and player add item and then the, the, the number for each thing. So but just whatever you name this, just name it to something that you can remember easily. I just have mine as D manner for um, Dwemer manner displayed. So after you do that, you are done and ready to go. And um, I will see you in game. Okay, here we are in the manners display area, the main display area. Um, so after we, you have put the bat file into your game folder and everything, all you're going to do is just open up your console with the tilde key, which is just left of your number key, number one key above the tab. It's like a little squiggly line. Um, just open up your tilde to open up your console. And whatever you named it as, as I, how I said you could rename it, <clears throat> What you're going to do is just type in bat space and then whatever you named it to. So mine was D manner displayed. That's what it comes as defaulted. What I have it named as and then hit enter and you're going to get all the items. So then all you do, of course, you're going to be way over encumbered. Um, how much did it make me? 496. <laughs> But all you're going to do now is just come over and just start um, plopping it all into the displays. And the, the reason why I did this is um, I know that, you know, houses or, or anything with displays and stuff is is yes. so you can go out there and collect your trophies and stuff like that. But I really, really love this house. I, it's, a, it's a nice family house and stuff like that. But there's another house that I really like as well. And um, it's got a, a whole display thing also. So I was going through and filling both houses up and I got really tired. Like after I got the Azura Star, I'd have to go in, you know, go into the console or add item menu and add another copy of the Azura Star for the other house's display room. And the reason why I chose to just do this one through through a bat file rather than collecting for this house is because the other house has a couple of other things that um, this one's missing that I really like. Like besides your, your character's bed is like a, a little display thing for um, your wedding band. And the book displays, it's got like a lot of on your bookshelves it's got display things where you can put like named books, like all the, say like the Lusty Argonian Maids. It's got slots for all the unique stuff like that. 
and then all the, all of these Daedric artifacts actually has the statues of the in the in the the room with the displays. It's got a statue for each one of the Daedric prints, and then like you can put the the item and they hold it and stuff like that. So it's it's a really cool display. Not that this one's really bad. I like this house probably a little bit better. It's got a few more features that I like. And I really like having my family at this house. That other house doesn't have a pool and stuff like that. And it's a little bit small. It's only got three beds for followers and stuff rather than I think this house has 12 and stuff. So I like to put my family and all that stuff at this house. But the other house I use for my display collecting. So it gives me incentive to go out there and do quests to get the items to fill up my displays. So I just made this batch file just to give all the ad items right away so that I don't have to each time I, I would get like say Volenrund right there, I'd have to go make a copy of it for the other house. So I can just fill this house up right away and then not worry about trying to fill the displays up in this house and good to go. Um, but anyways, what, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and pause the video recording and I will see you guys when um, I've got everything displayed. Okay, we've got everything displayed now, so Good to see you. This is what, can I do for you? what we've got here. Of course, you got all this stuff in there, all these. You've got all of these. All your masks. Now there is one thing what I wanted I to go you? over on this one over here. Um right here You've got your amethyst claw. This is actually two claws. It's very it's very hard you can see to get it to to go onto it, but there'll be a right right there. So they're both in there of course, but this even though it looks like it's for one claw, and you can see when you put both of them together it makes one claw. But when you when you hover over it, you can see it's it's quite finicky on getting both of them. So there is activators to put both of them in there um of course all that and then the other half of your display stuff is through here now on the dwemer manor this is the um i think they called this the exotic or the exquisite or whatever version there's two versions of dwemer manor there's one this one and then there's the one that is like the original like textures and stuff of like a dwarven or dwemer ruin I think that one's called regular and this one's called exotic or or something like that. Um, I don't remember what all the exotic or whatever this this one has that's extra. Um, I do remember that the regular version is missing parts of this room. It might only be these two side rooms like right here to put um, all your hold stuff. And then, of course, just more displays on the other side these two rooms might be missing or there might actually be more i don't remember so if you come into this one here and you're missing all of these rooms it's because you need the um exotic or whatever version of dwemer manor so you got ariel stuff here now there are a couple of things i haven't been able to find places for that i'm kind of surprised that there's nowhere to put stuff um if somebody does know where they're at in this house and I just haven't found them, I've, I've used this house quite often and I've never found it. But basically, I have never found a place to put like the Zephyr, the um, Ethereum shield or Ethereum um, staff. But there is a place to put the Ethereum crown right here in the middle. Ethereal crown. But there was no place for staff or shield or the Zephyr, which I was quite surprised. So if anybody knows where it's at, so I can update the bat file. But, you know, in this room, you've got the Ethereal Crown. I've looked all over these things. I never found anywhere to put that stuff. But, of course, you have the Poacher's Axe. All of this stuff here. These books there. 
all these different skulls. Uh, lavas, torigs, sapphire, of course, all the amulets. Then all this stuff here, you got all the maps. And these things right there. And of course, the notched pickaxe. And I didn't see a place to put the ancient um, pickaxe thing from Solstein either, but there may not be places to put those items. I, I don't know. I've never found it. It's not like I've never, this is my first time using the house. I've been using the house now for probably about a month because I really like the house. It's, it's got almost everything that I want in a house. I'm still on that search to find the perfect, perfect house, but this one is pretty dang close. And I really like how there's NPCs for this place. There's, um a fence so you can sell stolen items there's a barkeep so you can buy food and stuff there's a um a blacksmith so you can buy and sell but also if you're using like loot and degradation or honed metal they can you know temper up your items for you there's somebody that sells alchemy ingredients and somebody that sells like um magic stuff like soul gems and you know spell tomes and stuff like that so there's all kinds of cool stuff and there's a librarian that sells a tons of books so there's all kinds of neat things with that come with this house but there's still a couple things i wish i had but it doesn't have it but other than that yeah i just want to cut this video off now i just wanted to to show what you get with this batch file i mean it's anybody can make a batch file this thing took me quite a while to make because you can see there's a lot of items and i had to look up you know the item number for each item and then i had to make a batch a, a text file for every single item and I, I wanted it for my personal use, like I said, because I use two different houses. And the other house is the one that I actually, while I'm playing the game, I work on filling up the displays and stuff. You know, I do the quests, I do all that. Because I really, I like that one a little bit better on the displays and stuff. It's got a few more displays that I like and everything. But I mean, this one is really good too. Sometimes I don't use both houses. And I only use this house. And this house has got a, a, a very good display, you know treasure display anyways but i just got kind of tired of you know if i went and got spellbreaker or whatever i'd have to go and, and console in a, a copy of it and you know or use add item menu so i can put it in the other house just always making copies every single amulet making a copy just so i made the batch file just for my personal use but i figured you know what maybe there's other people that even if they're not using two houses and they just don't even want to go collect all this stuff and they just want to fill all their displays up right away you know and they use this house they can just use the batch file get all the items put them all on your displays and then just go play your game and you got everything displayed you know you got all this stuff i don't i don't know did i show all this already i think i did yeah because we went over masks and stuff so yeah that's everything hope you guys enjoy it it's not like it's a technical well, um, one of the same mod or anything it's just a batch file I'm but you. you know there's new players new modders and stuff that don't know how to use batch files and i did all the legwork if you use this house to get all the displays if you don't want to go collect them so all right guys hope, hope you enjoyed that i hope to see you on the next episode